Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to generate Fibonacci series using the generators. First, we will learn about how to generate Fibonacci series in Python using the normal program without generators. So what is Fibonacci series? Fibonacci series starts with 0 and 1 and next number will be addition of last two numbers. So next number will be addition of last two numbers 0 plus 1 it will be 1. So next number is 1. Now next number will be addition of last two number 1 plus 1. So it will become 2 and last, second, next, next number, number will be addition of last two number 1 plus 2 it will be 3. Next number will be addition of last two numbers 2 plus 3 it will be 5. Next number will be addition of last two number 3 plus 5 it will be 8 and so on. Okay, so list will go on till millions and billions numbers. Okay. So first we will write a simple program to print a Fibonacci series. Initially uh, we want to print 0 so we can have 0 in a variable a. Then we want to print 1 so we can have our variable b equal to 1. And next element will be addition of a plus b. Okay. So suppose I want to print Fibonacci series till 5 numbers. So initially my counter will be 1 and I want to print Fibonacci series till Five, num five numbers my number equal to number equal to 5 so I can have number here then so first I want to print 0 so and 0 value is available into the a variable so simply I can print 0 print a so it will print 0 ok so initially my program execution will start from line number 4 a will be declared uh, defined as 0 b will be defined as 1 counter will be initially 1 my number equal to 5 so initially this condition will be like this uh, 1 less than 5 this condition is true so execution will come to line number 10 and we are printing 0 here then what we can do I want to print next number as a 1 so I what I can do I can assign a as a 1 and b as a b as a 0 i can serve the values okay i can serve the values so how to serve the values in python uh, we can serve the values in python like this b comma a so it will serve the value we don't need to have an extra temporary variable in python we can serve the values in the python directly a comma b equal to b comma a so it will serve the value so B, so my new value of b will be 0 and new value of a will be so new value of a will be 1 and new value of b will be 0 ok and so my I have printed 0 already I want to print 1 so my next number should be a so a should have a 1 value so a is having 1 value and my b will be a plus b so my b will become 1 ok so since I'm running into a while loop and I need to increase my counter also counter plus equal to 1 so counter will become 2 so since I'm running into the while loop so it will go to line number 10 and it will check this condition 2 counter is 2 2 less than 5 this condition is true so it will come to line number a it will print the value of a value of latest value of a is nothing but 1 so it will print 1 and so what we are doing we are serving the value of a and b so a is also 1 and b is also 1 so a will become 1 and b will become 1 and at line number 13 what we are doing b equal to a plus b so a is 1 and b is 1 b equal to a plus b so b will become 2 1 plus 1 2 okay and we are increasing counter here so counter will become 3 at since we are running into the while loop we are we will go to line number 10 so we are checking 3 less than 5 this condition is true then here we are printing value of a value of a is nothing but 1 so 1 will be printed ok then then we are serving the value of a and b so a will become 2 and b will become 1 a will become 2 b will become 1 ok and and we are updating the value of b b equal to a plus b so b will become 3 2 plus 1 will be 3 so b will become 3 since we are running into the while loop it will it will become 4 and we are printing value of a value of a is nothing but 2 so we will print 2 and we will print 2 
and and we are saving the value of a and b so a will become 3 and b will become 2 and we are doing a b equal to a plus b so b will become 3 plus 2 5 okay and so we, i will increase my counter also so counter will become 5 5 less than 5 this condition is false so iteration of while loop will stop here itself so i can remove these comments let me remove these comments and see the execution line by line okay let me remove these comments and let's see the execution line by line. So initially A will be 0 and B will be 1. So line number 4 will, 4 will be executed. A will be defined in the global frame. A will be 0 and B will be uh, 1 only and counter will be 1 and number equal to 5. Okay, here while counter less than number, this condition is true because counter is 1 and number is 5. This condition is true. And we are printing a so print a value of a is 0 will be printed into the output screen so 0 is printed then we are saving the value so a will become 1 and b will become 0 okay then we are updating at line number 13 we are updating value of b b equal to a plus b so b will become a plus b 1 plus 0 b will b will become 1 so b has become 1 so we are updating the counter also counter will be counter plus 1 so counter is 1 1 plus 1 2 counter will become 2 then we are checking the while condition 2 less than 5 this condition is true 2 less than 5 so we will print line number 11 we will print the value of a value of a is 1 so 1 will be printed then we are saving value of a and b where a is 1 and b is 1 so if we save the value so a will become 1 and b will become 1 and we are updating value of b equal to a plus b so b will become 2 1 plus 1 2 okay and we are updating the counter incrementing the counter so the counter will become 3 since we are running into the while loop so 3 less, less than 5 this condition is true we will print a value of a is nothing but 1 so 1 will be printed and we are saving the value of a and b so a will become 2 and b will become 1 and we are updating the value of b b equal to a plus b a is 2 and b is 1 2 plus 1 3 b will b will become 3 okay and we are incrementing counter so counter will become 4 4 less than 5 this condition is true so we will print a then we are saving the value of a and b so b will become 2 and a will become 3 and we are printing we are uh, updating the value of b also b will become a plus b a plus b uh, 3 plus 2 5 so b will have value as a 5 5 is uh, is there into the b variable and we are incrementing the counter so counter will become 5 5 less than 5 this condition is false counter is also 5 and number is also 5 5 less than 5 this condition is false so this while loop will exit and we, we will come out this while loop so these numbers are printed 4 values are printed okay suppose we want to print the 10 values so what we can do we can change the number to 10 value and we can set number equal to 10 because we want to print uh, first 10 values so First 10 numbers in Fibonacci series is printed. Okay, so for further optimization, what I can do, I can write a function and I can uh, I can I can put this functionality into a function. So what I can have, I can have a function like definition Fibonacci. This function accepts a variable as a number. Okay, and I can have this whole functionality into this function itself it is accepting a number uh, number as a local variable so i can i need to call this function also i have to call this function i can pass value as 5 let's execute this program and see the output i'm running the execution line by line you can follow the execution so initially a will be 1 b will be 1 then it will 0 and 1 will be printed then 1 will be printed then 1 plus 1 2 will be printed then 2 plus 1 3 will be printed counter less than equal to 5 so we are printing the first 5 numbers in the Fibonacci series